Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a tips and tricks video. Today we're gonna be talking about three different things. We're gonna be talking about garrisons, companion armies, and the Adele method. Now, let's get straight into it. Well, actually, before we get into it, the script, as always, it's gonna be on the screen. It's also gonna be in the description. So you can go check it out. You can uh, translate it or you can just follow along. Up to you. Now, uh, let's start with the garrison. So pretty much uh, garrisons, most garrisons, like town garrisons and uh, castle ones, right? Uh, you get to it by going to keep. This also, you have to own the fief, sorry. You have to own this fief for this to work, right? So if you own the town or the castle, go to keep, then go to manage a garrison. And then pretty much all these troops that are here, you can put the limit, right? And they will stay here. They will not leave. They will not, they, they're going to stay in this garrison until you come back and take them. Which is very good if you have a if you want like a backup army that's pretty good, and also they earn XP while they stay in your garrison. Now you might be wondering how much XP do they earn? Very simple. If you go to manage town, uh, this one right here, training fields, is what gives them XP. So as you can see, the max level of training fields for a town is four XP for a garrison troops, right? Castles, the max is three XP. Now, let's talk about why this is good. So, um, most units, if we go to here, right right here, uh, most units, they start, they have this um, pretty much branch and upgrade, right? And um, once they reach a certain level, as you can see, the basic one has two branches, then the second one has another two branches, but after that, they just level up one by one, right? They only have one line that can go down. And this is great because if you put these troops that only have one line of upgrade into your garrison, once they reach the XP limit, they will auto upgrade and keep um, their XP will keep going up. So if you drop a lot of these units into your garrison and then come back to it, like, you know, a good amount of time later, you might have dropped this guy, but you might have this guy in your garrison because it will auto upgrade for you if it has one line of upgrade like they like these guys but if you drop these guys in your garrison what they can they will not auto upgrade for you because the game will never make this choice for you they want you to make the choice so in my opinion i think the best thing you can do is if you have a huge army right and you want to and obviously you understand you're going to recruit more good units from villages and you have your own fiefs i would really suggest you use the garrison feature i know it takes up some income as you can see, uh, garrison of the castle, all that stuff. But in my opinion, I think it is very worth it because the fiefs are going to give you taxes. It's all going to balance out. And having a backup army and a very good garrison will not only protect your city or your town, right? But it could also be used as an army. Now, one last thing I want to say about this is um, if you recruit bandits, right? As you know, there's a skill for leadership. Uh, right over here and this skill says you are able to revert bandits into regular troops so before this before you get this skill right if you get let's say a forest bandit you cannot upgrade that forest bandit into I think it's a, a Fion Fion it's a type of archer right because you don't have the um, the required perk right but if you put a bandit into your fief right uh, sorry, hold on. <laughs> Press the wrong one. If you put a bandit into your, uh, what do you call it? Your garrison, and the and it only has one line of upgrade, like I said before, because some bandits have two. Some bandits can either become this type of unit or that type of unit. But if you only have one thing that bandit can become, it will auto upgrade for you even without the perk, which I found really cool as well. I'm pretty sure it might get patched. But for right now, it does work. Um, right now, it is May 5th, 2020. So, yeah. If you go to here, manage garrison. If you put... I don't know if I have a bandit. I'm pretty sure I do not at this point. This can be considered a bandit, but he has two things, you see? But, yeah. If you put a... Uh, pretend this is a bandit, right? And they only have one line of upgrade... You don't, you don't even need the perk. If you put him into the garrison, it will auto-upgrade for you. Hopefully that's that's the best way I can explain it. But yeah, put, put troops in your garrison. It does help with the security 
and it also helps with you know they're gonna gain XP from just being here regardless right now let's talk about companion armies that is the second point um, I would always say always start armies with your companions unless you need more units how do you start an army with your companions you can do this as a vassal or if you're on your own kingdom these parties right here um, I would always suggest to have the max amount of parties right I don't at this point but you know it is what it is I have I've got my business done on this map as you can see right but here's the thing I always encourage you to use these before you use other clans that might be in your kingdom why because starting an army let's go to starting an army creating an army if you use other uh, lords it's gonna cost you influence as you can see depending on the lord let's say you want a pretty big army boom you already have to sink all this influence in plus once the cohesion bar goes down and you want to replenish it up here with the button that also costs influence but the cool thing about just using your companions let's see if I could just find them real quick there's one and there's the second one the cool thing about using companions is once you start an army with them right just by them coming to your army and staying in your army you will gain influence as you can see at the top right there to be at army once they join your army that one will still be up there so you will be earning influence if you just use your companions right and another thing is once they get into your party right I said this before and I'm gonna say it again always carry a huge stockpile of food this is a terrible stockpile of food but this is you know I just you know I think I, I was in a battle before this but I would usually suggest here's my suggestion um, since food doesn't really spoil like it does in warband I would suggest carrying what's my max capacity about half of your um, party capacity worth of food since food doesn't spoil you can keep it for as long as possible the bigger your army always make sure to stockpile now what does this have to do with companion armies very simple any army you have once the other um, people in the army start running out of food they will start taking from you and every time they take from you you will get an influence you will get 1.2 influence 1.1 for each person in the army that needs to take some food from you and this is a very good way to get a lot of influence as well especially early game so if you run around in a party with your companions they'll be gaining a lot of influence and of course since you're leading an army you're gaining leadership which is going to give you some good good skills so yeah always do companions uh, the only times I would say to put clans in is if, when you need more units, right? When you need a bigger army. It makes sense, right? Now, third one. We're up to the Adele method. You might be wondering, what, what is the Adele method? If you don't know, I don't need to explain it to you. Look it up. Look up Adele. Look, listen. It's a joke. Don't get too offended if you are. But pretty much the Adele method, what is it? So for some reason, I found that every... Not every, but most women that you marry have late game gear on them for some weird reason now what what i mean by late game gear um as you can see the i married sora and pretty much as you can uh let's go into her inventory and i'm gonna show you exactly what i mean look at what she has i didn't give any of this to her none of this we have an imperial lord helmet pure long coat Imperial Lamb, she has a full set, as you can see, of Imperial gear. And some of it is worth quite a pretty penny. Um, now, a lot of people say, because uh, I made a video of what to focus on early game, and a lot of people said, just take the armor, man, just take the uh, the gear. And I was thinking to myself, that doesn't, that doesn't just work, you know what I mean? And let me tell you, it does just work. What did, um, what's his name? Uh, dude, Fall seventy six, Todd, right? Same shit he says. It just works, you know. But pretty much all you have to do is marry, uh, what's it called? A wife as fast as possible. I have a video on how to do. I have a video on pretty much step to step on how to marry somebody, right? You only pay because uh, you have to pay the father during the marriage process. Um, you only pay him like I think five thousand at most. Especially if you do an early game. I don't know if it, how it is late game because it's kind of hard to marry late game. But yeah, you pay like 5000 You get a wife. You get her in your party. And all of a sudden, you have end game gear. Because all you got to do is yoink. 
you want, and you have it. It's over with. So um, I think they should fix this. I'm pretty sure they have tried to nerf before, but as you can see, it's still here. So yeah, reap the rewards while they're here, you know? And like I always said, even in the video, make sure to marry early. It's very important because late game, it's very hard to marry. You're going to be too old. The game won't even let you marry somebody. But yeah, there's a full video on how to uh, do the marriage process down below. And uh, yeah, those are the three things. Garrison, Companion Armies, and the Adele Method. Hopefully this helps. Um, a lot more videos to come. I'm about to record the, uh, what do you call it? The playthrough that I'm doing. I just watched the, uh, what do you call it? The King of Netflix. You guys should watch that. It's a good, good movie. And it has to kind of do with the game we're playing, you know? So if you like the game, you're probably going to like the movie. The King. It's on Netflix. Watch it. But yeah. Uh, like always... Uh, ask me any questions and uh, stay safe.